Welcome to the channel. It's Jack, the muscle and mobility maker with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, we're gonna to be talking about how to recognize if you're in anterior pelvic tilt throughout your day. But before we get into it, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Saturday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine. And it doesn't get much better than that. So take advantage of it. Ready? Let's go ahead and get into this one. All right, like I said, today's video is gonna be how to keep your anterior pelvic tilt in check throughout the day when you're going about your daily business and routine. And all in all, it is a really simple test that we're gonna use here to help you identify, first of all, if you're in anterior pelvic tilt when you're in certain positions or not, and how to actually go about correcting that to help neutralize that pelvis so that you're not putting extra stress on your lower back, tightening up those hip flexors, all those things that are really the negative downfalls of being in anterior pelvic tilt. So overall, the true fix to this problem, which I have a video for, we'll put right here for you, is a few simple mobility exercises and some strengthening that you can add to help neutralize your pelvis more throughout the day, regularly through strength and balance in all the musculature around the pelvis. But first of all, it also takes an awareness of what is actually going on when you're moving about in your daily routine. So the test we're gonna use is simply called the belt test. And if you can imagine your belt right at your waistline here, I'll use my belt, which I don't have on, but the waistline of my pants, it's gonna be where is the belt buckle pointing? It's as simple as that. So if my belt buckle is actually pointed and angled down to the ground, then I am in anterior pelvic tilt. What I can do to also kind of solidify this is if I use my index finger and my thumb, I should be able to feel my asis and my pieces, which is the front and back of my pelvis. And if I put my thumb on the backbone of that pelvis and my index finger on the front bone of that pelvis, they're also going to point in that same direction that my belt would. So if I neutralize those, my index and thumb should be level. If you can imagine that bubble in a level, kind of going from one end to the other, we should have that bubble sitting right in the middle between our lines here, leveled out. That is neutral positioning of our pelvis here. Now, what you might notice when you neutralize your pelvis is that your glutes are a little bit more active. Your lower abdomen are a little bit more active. That's how it should be. So in order to control the pelvis, we really wanna control it from both the glutes and the lower abdomen. Okay, and in order to make those a little bit more effective, it's not just extension of our glutes that happens, we also need external rotation. So this includes our whole leg now. So if my leg is inactive, maybe I'm standing at the sink and I'm doing dishes. If my legs aren't actively screwing into the floor some, and I'm not extending at the hip here with that external rotation from the hip, then there's a good chance that I'm going to dump into my belt test failure where my belt buckle is facing down toward the floor and not directly forward. It's a simple test, but it's an easy way that you can visualize whether or not you are in anterior pelvic tilt. Now this can also be from a kneeling position. Okay, again, if I'm in a half kneeling position, is my belt buckle pointed down to the floor or is it pointed forward? If I'm in a tall kneeling position, is my belt buckle pointed down to the floor? Is it pointed forward? The test is simple, you get the picture, and it's really a matter of how I'm actually stabilizing my pelvis in these positions to keep it in that neutral positioning. So take a moment, watch that video that I linked here. Um, I'll even drop it maybe down below in the, the notes here, uh, description below, so that you guys can go ahead and watch how to fix your anterior pelvic tilt and go from there with it. The awareness is a big part of it because the more you can neutralize it throughout the day, 
the more you're going to be naturally practicing how you want to strengthen yourself in order to maintain a neutral position that's not always putting stress on your low back or other things downstream at the legs, knees, hips, that kind of stuff as well. So hopefully you found this helpful. Use the belt test regularly, see how your belt is pointing, and that is going to get you in a good position to start, and then also start to work your way out through mobility and strengthening to overall come up with a holistic approach to fix it. All right, and there you have it. The most simple way that you can help draw awareness to the positioning of your pelvis throughout the day when you're doing different tasks. Are you in an anterior pelvic tilt? Are you not? The belt test. So you can also use those bones. Maybe you really have a belt on. You can use that belt buckle, whatever it might be. The simple way to draw awareness and start to fix things throughout the day so that you can overall protect yourself in movement and move better and stronger. If you like this video, make sure you let me know by clicking that big thumbs up down below. Take a moment to share this one with a friend who's sitting a lot, either they're driving or behind a desk a lot. Pass it their way, there's a good chance they have anterior pelvic tilt, so just share it their way. If you're somebody who wants to improve your mobility in the next 12 weeks, or you struggle with reoccurring training aches or injuries, and you just kind of have that fear behind it that you don't want to re-injure yourself again, what I want you to do right now is drop down below in the description to fill out a quick few preliminary questions and schedule your blueprint call so that we can talk about what it would look like to move you forward with a mobility program specifically designed for your needs. So we would have you working on becoming pain-free if you're already there or digging your way out of deficits that are likely to put you in a pain position if you are reoccurring with injuries and things like that. Take a moment, fill out that application, get that call scheduled, and we'll have you moving in the right direction in no time. Last but not least, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Saturday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life routine. It doesn't get better than that. Welcome to Stronghold Army. We'll see you next week.